these are your cards for Tuesday, January 6th, 2020. Hope all of you are enjoying, you know, if you are still on holiday with the family or if you're back to the grind like some of us. So the first card I pulled is the Magician in the Mirror. So it's basically kind of like self-reflection. He has um, fire and ice, uh, very much yin and yang energy. So we have Journey. So we have the, it's kind of reminds me of Dorothy and she's following the yellow brick road. Um, and she's following the light, like the light is being shone on her path. It's this new journey she's on. And a lot of us have um, been told we're on this new journey, this new path anxiety so some of us are feeling anxious especially now with the, you know bills um coming in for the first of the month you know after christmas time after the holiday celebrations so it's time to get that discipline back going in and um you know tighten those you know, your purse strings and just you know start being responsible again or uh, maybe the money your in influx of money is not where you would like it to be and you've done everything in this situation door to personal healing and happiness so i love the way that these cards are playing out because it's it, it's so you know what a lot of people are feeling right now a lot of people are feeling anxious you know what is uh 2020 gonna bring for me uh i if you want to check out the general forecast that i did it is on my YouTube channel. It is in my bio. Please feel free to check that out. Um, and it's done three months at a time because I do so many. I, I'm different from um, other people that I know of their services where I do like an in-depth, you know, card pulls for the actual month. So it, it is um, about an hour long video. Very in-depth. Magician of the mirror, knowing and using your true power. So what 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 are your gifts? Maybe some of you are blessed with gifts and knowing what your true power is. Maybe you're just getting awakened to this true this new power. Um, it happens to people in the, the different times, um, and I guess it's also your willingness to embrace it as well. Maybe you knew you always had something, but is that you know that openness, that willingness to to actually go on to the other side of um this journey and you know things will come more easily the magician of the mirror reversed is warning you that you may be missing a, a great opportunity the time is right but you're not taking advantage of the creative energies of this cycle you do have the power to transform things for yourself to create something new whether a home business family or life direction you may be uh resistant to or even disbelief, disbelieving of the ultimate power you possess, but it's time to wake up. The manifestation and 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 pre, pre, oh, perceived limitations that linger from the past can no longer sustain you. Your life is in the mirror that reflects your inner energy, yet you have the ability to change what you see. You must fully open to the complete truth of your external wisdom. Sorry, I had a cough. Wisdom, talent, and abilities. And take the risk of believing in yourself. Now is the time to go to dig deep and find the confidence and courage within to make the most of the opportunity, the opportune cycle. You have all the resources you need and the ultimate for, for, force of the universe at your disposal. It's warning. It's uh, waiting for you to recognize and ignite the phenomenal powers in the external uh, that are externally yours. I'm going to read the affirmation. I have all the power I need to create the des destiny I desire. Magic happens when I live in consciousness and my external truth. Believing in ourselves. So many people believe in us. We got to, we also have to have that same kind of faith in ourselves. Um, I receive compliments all the time of uh, what um, kind of healing I've brought to people's lives. But when I hear um, things coming to fruition um, or it, for example, someone that I know uh, had a reading from someone else and exactly what I had told her, 
months prior, about six months prior, is exactly what she told her. I it 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 blows my mind. It's just it it's just amazing because it's like you know sometimes you're like, am I just really full of it? And it's like, I can't be if all these people you know with the feedbacks and the people that can keep coming back for readings. It's, you know, we got to believe our own gifts to make them grow even stronger than they are now. So journey, movement, real relocation, travel, pack your bags. The journey card foretells upon uh, upcoming travel or shift in location. It may be as simply as a vacation or a retreat or class or even a, a work related trip. This card can also signal a movement of residence or a job relocation. This upright position indicates that the plans go off without a hitch. Still be clear with about your motivations and mindful of logistic of the logistics logistic yeah logistics. All of the life is a journey and this card is telling you that you have some exciting inspiring adventures ahead. So we could do get like all of us do like you know um unsure of our path because I feel like that's what it was because she has this um, blue lantern and it looks like she was heading in this direction. But now this um, lamp is shining and it's showing her to go this way. So I believe this is like, you know, she was unsure of what way to travel. And I believe with this opportunity for travel or uh, relocation, it's going to show you what your next couple of years is going to look like. And it's going to give you that hope because like myself, I have no idea um, what to wish for or, well, I have things I wish for, but it's like, you know, when it matters of love and stuff, I have no idea. So it's, a, you know, a relocation for us, like into town is what I want. And this would be a real phenomenal thing to happen for us. This is something we truly do want. That that would give us a lot of hope and it would open a lot more doors for us. A lot more stability. So just keep putting, keep, keep, ask, keep asking, keep knocking and you shall receive. It will happen. It's all about divine timing. And I truly believe that, you know, uh, it, it feels like it's a long time, but, um, you are very grateful when it does happen. So a lot of us are dealing with anxiety. So we have the storm leaving in this situation because the storm is actually pulling away rather than coming in. The woman on the card is filled with anxiety, worry about something that ca caused her a great deal of discomfort. Receiving this card upright may indicate you're experiencing a time of increased stress, perhaps even a situation that you find yourself boring much about at this time. Uh, um, Someone that's very dear to me reached out to me, and I believe this is about you. So I think you're giving this way more energy than you should. Uh, check your DMs for what I um, messaged you. Um, however, if you notice the sense out the scene outside the window, the storm in the di is is distant, and perhaps even moving away. However, whatever is going on, this card is telling you to release the worry and let yourself relax. Bordering and fretting will never solve things, so trust in yourself and your process. When you live with a relaxed heart and mind, you're far more likely to receive the, the solution that you seek. So when we fret about things, it's like it's not going to change the outcome of what is going to happen. You know, and it's hard not to fret over things, but it's just like we got to let go. And realize whatever was meant to happen in this situation will. We've done everything in this situation to make a positive outcome happen here. So we just have to release and trust that this is going to be a positive um, a change for us. That's why like, we have memories of the past. Like, you know, how we were in this situation. You don't want to make yourself sick over it. So door to personal um, healing and happiness. New beginnings in your personal life. So we have two kind of new beginning cards here. So we have this in the reverse. You may be feeling stuck where your personal intentions are concerned. Self-mastery and discipline may be hard to achieve right now. Or specific plans for personal change may be, be, may be being blocked. 
Remember that your intentions need to be clear and unconflicted. How, whatever you're working on, you need to know that you're capable of achieving it and that you deserve it. Put your heart into your plans and changes you desire and realize that you are worth your t own time and effort. The new beginnings you seek will come with, <coughs> excuse me, with your own forced and patient, patient determination. I'm going to read the affirmation. I am strong, focused, and self-directed. I have the power to create wonderful new re re realities in my life. So we got to believe in ourselves, which is like kind of the key theme for for Tuesday. And if we do feel stuck, just know that, you know, make make put, keep putting those intentions out there, what you want. I'm uh, just going to give you guys a heads up that the next candle magic is coming up January 20th, 2020. Um, me personally, I, I don't feel that candle magic works for me, so I'm not going to actually participate. I find that um, a vision board works more for me. So it's up to whoever you want. You know, you can still put your manifestations out there. You can actually just say them verbally. You don't have to use candle magic. It's up to you. I tried it. it um, Nothing ever came to fruition for me, so I'm just, you know, I'm going to stick to my vision board. I find the vision board works more for me. Brilliant idea. Yes, your yes, your idea is divinely guided. Take Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. Spread your wings. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you're being and you are ready to soar. Sometimes like we feel like if our situation isn't turning out the way we want, we want to retreat. Like we put all this time and effort into it, especially if you've um, been in uh, situations where your partner or someone really close to you, you know, says you're wasting your time or, you know, uh, wasting your efforts. It, it, it's hard not to, um, get out of that mindset because it's kind of programmed in your mind. So we got to um, do better of uh, like the cards are saying self-love and the way that people regard us and that high, um, that high um, standard in that high light. We have to sit there and treat ourselves as well. That way we have to believe in ourselves that way. Eat a helpful diet, get a adequate sleep and exercise uh, regular regularly for optimum health so we've been getting a lot of uh, health cards at the beginning of, of the year which is understandable like a lot of us make those um, new year's resolutions to be better people to be more healthful um, you know so it's kind of hard especially when you're in the colder places it's like you know you want comfort food and it's like you know comfort food is fine but just make sure you know get your exercises in Emotions are running high. Yes, they are. I feel it very intensely. Um, JJ um, Constellations and <coughs> Soul Work, we're talking about. There's an ecl the Eclipse Energy and um, there, she was speaking of something else going on. Uh, that it, The emotions are really high. The people are going to feel it uh, very intensely. What do you need to release? So maybe this is what this whole eclipse energy is about or this uh, this high um, emotions that they were talking about. Um, maybe this is the time to release those things. And our last card, take time to, to breathe out. So it feels like we're uh, putting a lot of anxiety in ourselves, you know, with the anxiety card all these anxieties we're putting on ourselves and it's like, you know, spirit is saying, take time to breathe out. Meditation is a great way to control your breathing and, um, get everything, you know, 
get rid of that kind of chaotic thinking and just get your 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 breathing at a nice smooth and stable um like ebb and flow kind of thing where you 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 just release and you just let go of it and i want that's something i want to get into uh once my um my cold is over or well, my flu whatever the heck it, this was so um i hope you guys have a blessed tuesday if you're feeling this energy know that we're with, on you know on board with you it is also also almost a full moon so the energy is going to feel more intense at, at that time as well um you know have a great blessed day things are going to get better guys um it's only the beginning of the year just take it easy on yourself you know we, hopefully i'm able to do a lot i don't know about this weekend because i want to get 100 you guys know that i don't want to sit there and you know come on live and i'm you know, not able to do a proper life. So I'll do my best that I can. So we'll see you for Wednesday's Dale of Pick a Card. These are your cards for Tuesday, January 6th, 2020. Have a blessed day and we'll see you for the next Daily Pick a Card. Bye.